right, so now for the last of our three installments of this version of how we deal with escape velocity, um, part three of three, as it were, uh, we know that we have now a potential energy that's equal to negative gmm over r naught. All right, well, what does that mean to us? That means as follows. Since we know, we, we stated earlier, way back up here, that our kinetic energy is going to be equal to the negative of our change in potential energy. Well, since the others are zero, we could say change, all right, like that, or we could just leave that out because we're subtracting zero. So our kinetic energy at Earth's surface is going to be the negative of our change in potential energy, all right? So how does that work? We come all the way back down here. This is our change in potential energy. That means that as we go from where? That meant as we went from way out here to way in here, okay? Obviously, if we go from here to way out here, it's going to be the negative of that. At any rate, we know that our kinetic energy is equal to the negative of our potential energy, both at Earth's surface, all right? That means that in order to achieve this escape velocity scenario, our kinetic energy, one-half mv squared, has to be equal to the negative of our potential energy, which is negative uh, gmm over r naught. Okay? That's after you're integrating. Negative g big M mass of Earth over test mass, or times test mass, divided by r naught, which is... Uh, Earth's radius, right? That's where we're taking our uh, taking our position to be. All right. So that means solving for v, we get these become positive. So that means that v is equal to two g big M over r naught square root. Okay. That's obviously after we've canceled these uh, test masses. So this is how we define, or this is our expression our equation for the escape velocity of an object at Earth's surface, okay? So, taking that, we know that G is uh, universal gravitational constant, M is equal to mass of Earth, or whatever planet or moon or whatever it is we're trying to escape, right? And what do we, again, what do we mean by escape? To escape is gravitational field uh, such that um, our velocity becomes zero as the gravitational potential becomes zero near infinity. All right, and then r naught is equal to uh, Earth's radius. And that's all based on the fact on what our gravitational field is right here. All right, that's the end of that. V is equal to the square root of 2gm over r naught, that is V as our escape velocity.